what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you a brand new method on how to improve the performance of your Windows PC and boost your FPS here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. I prepared some brand new tweaks guys and also other methods so therefore please make sure to watch the whole entire video and if you enjoyed please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me say so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, for the first tip, which I actually want to give you in today's video, I'm going to show you one secret setting you guys can actually apply on your Windows PC to save some performance and actually increase your FPS in-game. And I'm quite sure that literally like so many people don't know about this. What we're going to do is talk about our display resolution on our normal Windows home screen. Because it actually matters on which scaling you have your Windows display resolution. So let's just say as an example that I'm right now going to go here into my normal NVIDIA control panel. You know, you can also go like into your AMD Catalyst or theoretically also do it here normally over windows if you go into a windows search bar and type in display settings you know and then you should be able to change your resolution if you actually let's just say play on a stretch resolution you know something like i don't know 1680 times 1050 1600 um, times 1024 or even lower guys changing your normal native windows resolution to that rest will actually give you a performance increase because everything which is usually running on your normal windows home screen is also going to be lower rest so therefore your overall appearance of your windows is as well going to be lower rest which is going to increase the performance of your pc because yeah it's not as high quality high detailed you know like each and every single window is not going to have like the maximum amount of pixels you know right now here on my display i can go to 1080p maybe you're even playing like on a 2560 um, p monitor you know which would be 1414p or some stuff like that but literally changing your Windows home resolution as well to the same stretch rest does actually increase your FPS. And besides that guys, it also actually fixes this issue that your stretch resolution just randomly changes again to native once you tap out of Fortnite. You know, that's like one of these issues I personally experience here. So therefore, please make sure to always put your Windows resolution also to the same one as the in-game rest which you're using right now. Or even if you're using, let's just say 1080p, you know, like normal 1920 times 1080 in Fortnite, still change your Windows home screen resolution to something lower to increase your performance so yeah guys and for this next step what i want you to do is click on the first link in the description where you can find my new website guys and here on the top you will see fps boost and what i want you to do is click onto it if you maybe afterwards want to guys you can also like discover the page you can see we have reviews here or stretch resolutions other packs but what we're going to focus on is now fps boost so we're going to click onto it and here on the top now guys you can see a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now then you get redirected here onto a new site guys we're just simply going to scroll down until you find this download button here which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can actually download the following pack here which is called registry tweaks for less latency and what we're going to do is once we get it on our pc guys right click onto it and actually extract it here all onto your desktop and then you should have two files in here clean jack files and registry tweaks for less latency which I just overworked lately guys so therefore yeah there are new tweaks in there. So what we first of all going to do is open up the file with the registry tweaks and there we can see now disable driver searching, disable file history services, disable power throttling, um, disable energy estimation on all the NSLE services guys which are just slowing down our PC. So what we're going to do is step by step click for each and every single one, click onto yes and apply the tweak yeah. We're just gonna do it here for all of them guys. I already did it so therefore I actually don't have to do it but for the sake of the video you know for the tutorial. I'm actually going to do it here, apply all of them here to my PC. But yeah, once we're done with that guys, we applied all of these tweaks here and you should already feel a difference in the speed of your Windows. And what we're then going to do is click here onto clean junk files as well, open it up. And this is just gonna start like the normal Windows cleanup process here, where we can free up all the temporary data here on our Windows PC. We have some stuff here like, I don't know, shader, cache, also super important to clean this once in a while, temporary data. And also the recycling bin, which for me is 14.5 gigabytes. So therefore we're going to click here onto OK and actually delete all of these files here, guys. Just like freeing up some space on our PC, speeding it up a little bit. And with that said, we're pretty much done here. And yeah, guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me to say so much. And with that said, have a great day. Have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Big four and hoe come get inside. Diamond Gucci Lee come take a dive.